Good afternoon. Welcome to Oxford University and welcome to Said Business School. I'm thrilled to be here. I'm the founder of a small nonprofit that's been working to improve the financial lives of poor people for years, and I'm around old and new friends. I'm also the dean of the business school here. And if you think about the business school, it's not obvious as you think about this, the spires of Oxford. What's the connection between a business school or this 800-year-old university and the bootstrapped organizations that you run? But if you scratch a little bit deeper, you'll find out that we share a lot of common DNA. Let me tell you a little bit about that. First is about values. What you do and what we do is very similar. You have to dream big. You have to be willing to take on challenges that probably don't make sense. And honestly, you have to be foolish. And I think we're all a little bit foolish. Entrepreneurs are people who pursue opportunity beyond the resources under their control. And that is optimism or it's delusion, but we're all foolish. And we are invigorated every year by a crop of new foolish people, which are the Skoll Scholars. Um, and they bring to us a new set of inspiration. And we're a bit foolish too. We're very entrepreneurial. So this fall, despite all expectations to the contrary, we launched a new MBA program in this school in eight weeks. And that is a most foolish thing to do. <laughs> Second of all, you need knowledge. Beyond values, you need knowledge. So I want to save people or, or solve poverty in South Africa as an inspiration. It's not a plan. You need deep domain expertise in order to come up with plans. You need to know things. You can learn that stuff on the job, but we think we can also help you learn it here. So that program that we just started, it's about coming to Oxford not for one year, but for two. And in the first year, gain deep domain expertise. A number of you are working on problems around water. Well, it turns out we have a master's in water management here, and you can learn a lot about water. Some of you are trying to fix educational systems. We have four masters in education. Come here, gain deep domain expertise as the first step to solving the problems that you've identified. So values are good, domain expertise is good, but what's the third part? The third part is you have to know how to manage. So let's think about managing. You need to know about cash flow. You need to know about marketing. You need to know how to manage people. All of these are skills that you need whether you run a nonprofit as I have, or a school as I do, or a for-profit business, which I'm engaged with all the time. That's why school entrepreneurship is embedded in a business school, because you need those management skills on top of the values and the knowledge. Finally, this is more than about individual institutions and people. Um, it's also about an entrepreneurial system. So I've been studying innovation for about the last 25 years. It's very clear that we need to study success. And that's why we're here, to celebrate and study the successes of the current school awardees and also of the past school awardees. But as a student of innovation, I can also tell you that we need to study failure. Because as it turns out, if you look at innovation, some of the most important things in the world have been the product of failure. And it's learning from that failure that's most important. Just out of curiosity, has anyone in this audience ever failed? <laughs> OK, congratulations. Um, it's learning from failure that makes innovation work. So if you think about this, a set of values about entrepreneurship, deep domain expertise, the breadth of managerial skills, the willingness to embrace failure, that's what you're all about. That's what we're all about. So you'll find, not right now, but you'll find students wearing robes, and we wear robes every once in a while, but underneath those robes, you'll find energetic young people in t-shirts trying to do remarkable things. You'll also find some of us wearing suits. Um, so welcome. Um, welcome kindred spirits. Welcome to Oxford. Welcome to Syed Business School. And welcome to this glorious Skull World Forum. Thank you very much.